Hi guys, I'm Harlow, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a Q&A with my mum and a couple days ago I did a live on Instagram and there were so many questions which I didn't get around to answering so I thought it would be a good idea to do a Q&A so we could answer all of them and maybe answer a few more. One of the most requested things was a mum reveal so mum do you want to come on? <laughs> <laughs> my mum's normally filming me behind the camera but t today she's sitting <laughs> next to me and she's also got an Instagram page so you can always go look on hers um, and the reason why we don't post YouTube videos every day is because my mum also has a full time job as a photographer so that's why the video quality and her pictures oh, are amazing you. right so let's get started with these questions Okay. That's so many. Really? Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I am nine years old and I'm going to be ten this year in September the 1st. So that's a couple months away. Well, it's a bit more than a couple months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it hard to take care of a horse with school? Well, I I don't really like muck him out or anything. The, like, the people here do it like and they feed him they muck him out they yeah, run so him they've got groom, the, the yard we're at they've got grooms that look after him mm. and yeah they they do everything absolutely everything even if the days we don't come up he still gets groomed mm. he gets and looked like, after if he was like if he's their own pony or horse um so mm. but you ride how many times a week do you think you ride I want to say around five so normally you go to, you go to school you finish school at 4 15 takes about 40 minutes to get from school to here. And it's so going to be quite late by the time we get here. So normally she's riding just after five. And yeah, you do the lesson. Yeah. And uh, the good thing about this yard as well is that he can be all tacked up and ready. So if we are running late, haven't got much mm. time, he can be all ready to go. And then do your lesson, go home. Yeah. But it's always just... Uh, flat work or something you'll do in the week and then we do yeah. a bit more adventurous at the weekends. Harlow, does your mum have a horse? No, but she did when she was very young. Yeah, I've had horses most of my life. I have yeah. had horses since I was little but I haven't got one. But we did plan on Harlow's pony being... A mother-daughter pony. And a mother-daughter share. But... Didn't really go to plan, did it? No. <laughs> It was a bit more just a child's pony. Mm. We were going to get like a 14 too, so my, we could like share it because yeah. I've ridden my mum's friend 14 too. And yeah, a 13 too. I, I can ride a 13 too. Like I have ridden pop on a couple of times, haven't I? Yeah. But just on a regular basis, it's just not something that I want to do. And I'm not really bothered. As long as you're yeah. happy and you're having fun, that's all that counts. Yeah. So, um, what breed is popcorn and what height? Okay, so. I'm going to start with the easiest one. Popcorn is a 13-2, like I just said. But we're going to get him measured and DNA tested because he's in a Welsh cross. He's a part-bred Welsh. So we don't, but we don't know what cross. So we're going to get him DNA tested. I think he's a little bit Arab, but... And we're also going to get him measured because I think he's a little bit bigger than 13 Do you think? Yeah, yeah. because um, the person that owns the yard has their old childhood 13 2 pony and Popcorn mm. seems Popcorn loads looks bigger. bigger. Yeah, which would be good if he is a little bit bigger because he's going to mm. last, uh, last a little bit longer. Yeah. Another question is, would you have still bought Popcorn if he was a 12 2? Um, that's a really <laughs> difficult question. I want to say yes, but I feel like my mum like would say no because I would just grow out of him too, too quickly. quickly. Yeah, because you're nine, you're going to be ten this year, mm. so he wouldn't have lasted two minutes, would he? No. And you'd have been heartbroken. Yeah, that's what one thing I wanted to avoid was buying something too small that we're going to have to sell in a year or two time. But like popcorn. Popcorn's going to last because when we went on the viewing, the girl that was riding popcorn was she was seventeen. And she was absolutely fine on him. So mm. I was like, okay, this is good, this is good, he's gonna last. And not only that, once you have like outgrown him or like even an ability, yeah. you wanna go on to different things or bigger mm. horses, then your little brother mm. can have him. Uh, where did you get popcorn from? I got popcorn from Horse Quest and my mum found him 
So. Yeah, we was looking from start to finish, from the start of looking to the day that we got in, we've been five weeks, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it wasn't too long, but it felt like a long time. It felt so long. It felt more like five months. <laughs> <laughs> Every day you was just like coming and showing me adver adverts, weren't you? Like saying, what about this yeah. one, what about this one? And they were all like crazy three-year-olds and yeah. about 16 hands. But they looked cute, didn't they? Yeah, they looked so cute. <laughs> So, yeah, there was a lot of uh, no's. Yeah, nothing that you showed me was a, a contender. Suitable. No. Um, so, yeah, so we found, yeah, I found him on Horse Quest. And we was actually going to, we had two other ponies in the pipeline, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We weren't actually meant to be getting popcorn because the day before we found popcorn, we were actually meant to be going to view another pony. And then we got let down, so we went... We went it was actually on the way to go view this other pony and then they called and said that they just sold the pony. And I was having a, I, a I was devastated because I, he was the pony that we were meant to be going to view. He was like really good as well. So that day, once we got let down, I went and pulled over, went on my phone, I started looking through all the new adverts and I hadn't, I hadn't been looking at any adverts all week because I called up about that pony on the Monday and then they said, yeah, they really, really like us to have this pony. We'll go and see the pony at the weekend. Um, so all week I thought, okay, there's no point viewing any other ponies because we found the one and as long as everything mm -hmm. went okay on the day, then we was gonna be getting that one, weren't we? Yeah. And then, yeah, so that was, took me by complete surprise and I hadn't been looking all week at any other, other adverts. So I was like, really annoyed because I could have missed out on something. Um, but then anyway, we pulled over. I started looking through my phone, like seeing what else has come online and I seen popcorn just came on. And my mum was like, I don't care, we're going to view him. Yes, yeah, so I called up and I just said, can we go, come and see? When can we come? Can we come first thing in the morning, um, the next day? So, and she said, yes. Then we came, we was the first, I was the first to call about popcorn and the first to view. Mm. So we just had to get in there really quick. And mm. we went up there, did the viewing, and yeah, that day I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah we like, want him. In the time that we were looking, a lot of the horses, like the day that they were being put up, yeah, they were being sold. They were just literally gone within minutes. Like this was the point in lockdown where no, like, People that didn't even know much about riding, they were just, they were just buying Buy ponies. I, the ponies and the horses were just going within minutes. Yeah. It was absolutely crazy. <laughs> so, but we got there and he, it was just meant to be. It wasn't meant to be with the other one, was it? No. No, we just knew. And to be honest, when we went and viewed Popcorn, I wasn't... I just wanted to go and view. My mum thought he was sedated because he was so good. Saying he was so sedated. good, yeah. And I was thinking, oh my god, is his pony? Is his pony been sedated? I'm not quite sure because he was just. I thought he was too good for a pony, um, but it was just. I just took the risk, and he hasn't been sedated because he was like it. He's still like it. Now we've got him home two yeah. months later. Yeah, and what I loved about popcorn on the viewing, yeah, I wasn't like when when we arranged to go and view popcorn. I wasn't even thinking, oh, this is going to be the one, this is the one. So I didn't want to get my hopes up. And you just don't know what the ponies are going to be like on the day. Because I so, was like, really, oh my gosh, this could be the one, this could be the one. Yeah. And then I was like, Harlow, this might not be the one. Don't get your hopes up too high. I know, and I said to you, don't just like it for the sake of it. Because there's going to be other ponies out there. Because literally Harlow will like a pony as long as it's got four legs or even three you would have loved it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, mum, this is the one, this is one, buy it, buy it, please, please. So yeah, I was just said to Harlow, make sure you definitely like riding this pony, you feel safe. Um, but when we went and viewed him, I didn't think, oh, this is gonna be the one. I just wanted to go for experience and just to get the ball rolling because all the views like weren't, either weren't happening and we kept getting let down. So mm. I just thought we're just going to go. It wasn't that far away. It was an hour and a half. It wasn't like we was going like five hours away. Yeah. And yeah, we just wanted to just go. But then as soon as you and I said to Harlow, Harlow, can you make sure that you just play it a little bit cool and you don't just give everything you away or whatever. But anyway, so she walked in the stable. She said, "Okay, mum." And then she walked in the stable 
And she, what did she do? I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> she was like, <gasps> she like gasps, and then she was like, oh my god, I love him. He's perfect. Can we buy him? And she hadn't even sat on him yet. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you? So, yeah, and I just thought, oh my god, okay. And on the viewing, he didn't have his, like, proper Palomino coat in or anything. No, he, he was all li- clipped out. He looked a little bit like a Cremello because he didn't have his proper, like, beigey Palomino coat. Yeah, he looked like a bit like a little plucked chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, all was amazing on the viewing, and he was perfect. He's perfect for Harlow. He's perfect now. He's still perfect now. He's amazing. Um, okay, what's the highest you've ever jumped on popcorn? Ooh, 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 I know this one. Um, 85 centimetres? Yeah. And that was the time where I fell off him and I got the video on my YouTube channel and... Wow. Um, yeah, luckily but... I was wearing my new Charles Owen helmet as well. Like, that was like the first time I wore my new Charles Owen helmet. And you whacked it. Yes. Against the jump, yeah, so... That was an expensive jumping session. It's like, it's like, it's session. like Popcorn was testing the helmet for me. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, let's, all right, let's see if this helmet is good enough. <laughs> but it wasn't Popcorn's fault. It but was I, mine. yeah, I think that you fell off that jump because I wasn't confident enough. You didn't think you could do it. So when you was going up to that jump, I was like, because mm-hmm. Popcorn normally takes me to the jump and we'll just jump it. I don't really have to like kick him on because he's so good. But yeah, he hesitated at that one, and, and so, so did I. So did you. You didn't encourage him, so he thought, okay, now I'm not going to do it. She's not sure, I'm not sure. Wasn't it? We're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then you fell off, your instructor said, what did she say to you? I We're not going home. Until you jump this fence. Yeah. So you, you, went, you got straight back on and went straight over it, didn't you? Yeah. And he was fine. But that is the biggest you've ever jumped because you haven't yeah. jumped before we got popcorn no you've been over I, a few couple of cross poles at a riding school about well, like this high so uh, that was last summer but you've only i think you did two jumping lessons didn't you yeah so that's so she's only been jumping since she got popcorn and we've had popcorn for 10 weeks now mm-hmm. okay it's so much longer than it that, does though. feel like so much longer when you bought popcorn, did you already have experience of riding or did you not know a lot? I definitely did not know a lot. Like, I knew a lot of the parts of the body on a horse. Yeah, I think I you knew had... how to do a care because you watched a lot of YouTube, didn't you? Yeah, but I had like, I don't really know how, like, how to ride properly because I was just doing like little riding school sessions. Yeah. And yeah, you hadn't done a lot of riding at all she did a little bit when she was two and three and then you kind of come out of it so she had a pony when you was two but we didn't keep we only kept him for six months so the lead rein pony that he had was really unsuitable and so he had to be sold and then it kind of just put me off getting any kind of children's pony because we had a bad experience Mm. so uh, between that time so say from three and now you were just riding at any opportunity, whether it's yeah. friends, ponies, but nothing was regular. She'd maybe go a couple of times a year on friends, ponies, and then you went to ride in school le- uh, lessons. But I think you did about 15 lessons at Green Cottage, didn't you? And then you've done um, six days at Wellington on their pony summer mm-hmm. camp days, didn't you? Yeah. You don't need your po- own pony for it, you use the riding school ponies. But yeah, yeah, when you went on those, you really came on with your riding, and that was last yeah. summer. And then I had a really nasty fall, so that put me off like six months. Yeah, then you didn't ride for six months. Well, you actually didn't ride till you start, got popcorn. No, and you, that was like yeah, really you didn't, long. Yeah, you didn't ride from last summer till March Wait. at all. Um, so about yeah, that now. that's really long. It's really long, isn't it? Yeah, but you just didn't want to, did you? Um, so yeah, it's really important that I found a pony that was suitable. Yeah, give you loads of confidence, and that would like take care of you really well. And that's those are the, all three key things that popcorn does. Yeah, or two one. <laughs> uh, popcorn seems very excited on hacks. It, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yes. But some, only sometimes. 
Mm. He's actually, when he goes out on his own... He's amazing. He's just normal, isn't he? Mm. But it's when there's another horse that he's like... Well, it's when there's more than two horses. He gets really it, excited, like, oh, they're all my friends. Who are these? Let's race. Yes, yes, let's do a race. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's something we need to do a little bit more of, um, is riding in a group. Um, are you planning on buying more ponies? Definitely. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the first that I knew about it. Yeah. Yeah, but when, when are you planning on this? When I become a lot better at dressage. I want to get like a better dressage horse. Oh, do you? Mm. Oh, okay. That does the Spanish walk. All oh, right, okay. Not, not, don't fancy teaching popcorn. Oh, wait, can you learn it? Well, I don't know. Have you tried hard, maybe? Ooh. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Tips for a bouncy canter. Um, do not use your calves to sit the canter because otherwise you lose your stirrups and I had to learn this the hard way. <laughs> so what I actually used to do when I was cantering was I used to like wrap my legs around their belly and just like it was very strange, but now like I, I can literally go stirrupless now with yeah. popcorn because you don't rely on your calves, you rely on your seat, and also it really helps if. Oh, I don't have. Um, the mon today, the sticky. Yeah, um, you can get like really sticky jelly things on the back of your droppers, and they really help. Yeah. But like now that I know how to sit popcorns canter properly. I could wear anything yeah. because I, I don't rely on my calves. But you. But it took it took about three weeks, didn't it, to sit popcorns? Yeah, counter. it took it took so long because even the girl that was riding him before I got him said he's got a very like bouncy. long, long strided and bouncy canter because she could barely even sit his canter. Yeah. So, but you was very pleased, weren't you, when you said mm. when you could sit his canter? Yeah. But on the viewing. Yeah. <laughs> this was a, this is a thing of me. I was bouncing all over the show. <laughs> I know. And when she was, I only let her do one canto on the viewing. Because my mum was like, "Oh, that's enough. I've that's seen. Enough. I've seen. I've seen enough." <laughs> <laughs> I literally was. She was my like mom, bouncing around mom, everywhere, and I was like, I'll "Oh put, my god!" I'll my I'll get my mum to link a video up of what I look like on the viewing because. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted just to see that he was going to be safe. He was going to, not going to take off. And he I thought didn't, he didn't even blink an eyelid when I was lo looking like a chimpanzee. Yeah, he's got back. loads of patience. And I thought, if, as long as he doesn't take off, he doesn't bolt, buck, really? do anything, he do anything like that. As long as he looks after her, that's fine. And I was like, okay, that's fine. She can stop now. Um, and we'll work on that counter when we get home. And we did. Yeah. And you nailed it now, haven't you? <laughs> okay, so how old is Popcorn? 14, and he's going to be 15 this year in June or July. June, June. Ho oh, ho, my lucky guess. Yeah, and birthday party? Yes, definitely birthday party for Popcorn. Um, okay, and... We'll be having all of his old friends round. We can all meet up in the new forest. Okay. I'll make pony oh, um... and cake. Oh, so why did you move yards? Um, I don't actually know. Well, I, I preferred it here, the one that we're at now at for uh, Forest Oaks. I definitely it prefer that it has an indoor school because it has been raining a lot in the UK because when we were driving on the way to the stables, it was chucking it down with rain. I've never known it to rain so much since we moved here. We've been here two weeks now and it has rained pretty much every single day. Mm, and this indoor school has helped so much. Yeah, that you can ride whatever the weather. So that was one of the, mm. the big the big things for me is that because you don't finish school till 4.15 and we can't start riding till like at least five o'clock was that Harlow can still carry on riding in the winter and doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, pitch black, you can still carry on riding. So mm -hmm. that was, a really important thing for me and then I also loved that it was so safe here 
Um, it's really secure. My brother likes to ride his bike as well. Yeah, and I just don't want him being able to get out on any roads or any like path, like cars like driving through the yard and stuff. Because there are automatic gates at the front, so there's like no way that a brother can get out. No, and it's just it was just a lot safer for him. And once you're in like where the, all the stables are, the barn, like you can't really get out. You can't. I, I can't lose him. So. Yeah, th those were the two main features, and then I just seen it, and I just loved it, and the facilities were amazing. But yeah, I just loved it. Just all the facilities, like even just for storing your tack, the kitchen, you can cook hot food here, and mm. it's just a lot. We loved it, didn't we? When we when yeah. we viewed it, it was like, oh yeah, definitely, we're coming. Mm. And it's in the New Forest. I love the New Forest. And I think there's a beach nearby as well, so we're gonna try and get popcorn to like the beach a little bit more. Yeah, we haven't been down there yet. No. Um, um, are you planning on doing any competing this year? Definitely. Okay, if so, <laughs> what discipline and what level? Dressage and maybe a little bit of show jumping cross country and or whatever level that me and Popcorn are going to be ready for. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to start off with unaffiliated dressage just because Harlow's never ever done dressage, a dressage. Like, these are my first pair of actual dressage long boots. I like yeah. them. <laughs> so, yeah, just anything that will just get her used to, like, the pressure of being judged. Yes, I do not like being judged. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just anything that's just going to get her ready and... Yeah, just have a nice time. Mm. So you're going to do unaffiliated to start with, and then we'll go yeah. into affiliated. Just okay, how tall are you? I actually don't know. I know, you're 135 centimetres. Oh, well, I'm wearing boots on. Yeah, a few more, a few more centimetres today. Um, do you have any other pets other than popcorn? No. No, you a wouldn't simple, like a dog? No, yes. And if we were to get a dog, it had to be cream to match popcorn. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are your goals for the future? Definitely getting either really good at dressage or show jumping. Yeah. I think it's going to be more dressage because my instructor is like unbelievable at dressage. Like, yeah. That's my instructor in the... Yeah, in one of the pictures. In all yeah. of the pictures. Oh, this was one of the questions actually. Um, did you meet Ellie McCarthy? Yes. I'm at her yard. <laughs> I see her every day. And she's, she's your like, instructor, yeah. Yes. You're having a lesson with her in a minute, aren't you? Yes. Um, so, yeah, she's amazing at dressage and, yeah, going to be really, really helpful on your dressage, dressage. journey because I'm going to borrow her childhood dressage saddle, which she's going to fit pop on. Yeah, so, so we're going to borrow that. Um, and then see how you get on with the saddle, see how you get on with yeah. the dressage, and then we're going to buy one for popcorn. Uh, what's your favourite thing to do with popcorn? Um, well popcorn absolutely loves cross country because every time we go cross country to Stour he does little bunny hops and I break my neck. I don't think he did it the first time. Yeah he, he, he did, he, he did. did when I went with Lexi. Did he? Yeah, yeah when he, you I didn't see him do remember it. when he was doing a very elegant canter out of the water and then it, then it turned into a rodeo barrel <laughs> racing canter. <laughs> Yeah, he gets excited. Um, For a second we were doing dressage canter, then he turned into a donkey canter, which was basically... Put your head down, leave your back legs up. Rodeoing everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, is popcorn on full or DIY livery? Full. They only do full livery here. Um, they definitely don't do full... And the, the, they definitely don't do DIY part livery. No, it's just like or all or nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. No grass livery. It's just stable only, and they do everything. Yeah. The feed, the, the feed, the hay, the walker. Even the picking out the feet after they've been in the field. Yeah, um, they bring them in ready for whatever time. Um, you want them ready. They can even tack them they up. They tack them you. up, yeah. But sometimes, like if we're in a rush, it's amazing, it's really good. But a lot of the times, especially at the weekend, 
But you're, you're not in a rush. No, we're not in a rush. And Harlow still wants to be doing all that stuff. So you'll go and get him from the field, yeah. do all the grooming. But they will groom him on a daily basis. Mm. And then Harlow, if you're coming up as well, he'll get groomed again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Double grooming. And that's why a lot of people, they say, oh, why does he stay so clean? Because he gets two grooming sessions pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah. And he gets a bath every Sunday. But we're trying to give him a bath every, you know, most weeks. Mm. Especially when he's been out and about and he's got muddy... Yeah, but he does stay really clean, but it's not dirty. Yeah, it's does. not dirt, dirty here, is it? No. It's really clean, like everywhere is immaculate. It doesn't even smell like horses. Like, this is in a, in a yard. Popcorn doesn't smell like horses. No, he doesn't even smell like a horse. He smells like a baby, doesn't he? Yes, he is my baby. Um, is your mum horsey? Very. I'm not, ver- I'm not very. Well, I, I love horses, and I've had a lot of experience with horses and my own horses. I've, I've been riding since I was little. I have I've had my own ponies. Um, but I've never competed at a high level. I've done showing, never done any dressage, show jumping. Because my mum used, she loaned and she bought a couple. Yeah, so, so my first pony was a loan pony at a riding school. And then I bought a pony. I think your first loan taught you a lot. Yeah. Because I, I even got to ride my mum's first pony. Okay. Yeah, he's still alive now. Is he? Yeah. Lucky. Yeah, his name's Lucky. Um, But yeah, he was really, really naughty pony, wasn't was he? Was he? Yeah, really naughty. Like, really cheeky and really strong. Like, he would, like, drag me across the yard to the feed room. And I used to be, like, on the end of the lead rope, like, getting dragged along. <laughs> so Popcorn's got a lot better manners. Oh, if Popcorn could be any other colour but a... But a Palomino, what would you pick? Definitely not a grey. Um, what colour? I don't know. It's quite hard, isn't it? Um, I'd be black. Black, yeah. Mm. Popcorn would look nice black, wouldn't he? Mm. Yeah, like he all black. Like any, 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 like, any star or socks? Mm. He's got, like, a snip. Then another snip. And then a star. Yeah. Yeah, I love his star. But what would you, if you had a black horse, would you want? I would want markings because I don't want him to be completely black. I wouldn't want him to be completely black. I want him to have a little star in his snip. Okay. Um, well, I just wanted to be popcorn. <laughs> uh, when did you know you were ready to own or loan a horse? My mum. Yeah, you were you were born ready, weren't you? I was born ready, because literally, didn't I go through this period of time where literally every day I'd just beg you for a horse? Yeah, and I was like, no, I haven't got time. I haven't got time, Harlow. I'm too busy. Can't well, look what we've life. ended up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got, got a pony and a YouTube channel. So the reason why I wanted to get Harlow a pony, or get a pony, because I thought we was going to be getting a mother and daughter share was when we did the first lockdown like it would have been amazing if we had a pony yeah um, that would have been a massive opportunity my english is terrible today a massive opportunity for my riding to become loads better yeah and quickly because you had loads of time and it was like home school and it's amazing weather um and then all over the summer again it would have been amazing to have a pony and then when it came, so we hadn't travelled for a whole year, and I thought, I actually don't, I'm not, I'm not even really missing it, to be honest with you, and I don't mind being at home. I kind of got, we just got used to going away all the time, didn't we? Yeah. So it was just like the norm. Um, but yeah, the, when the new, the, the January lockdown came, I, and I, it was actually my birthday, and I went, and my friend said, oh, you know, what do you want to do today? It's your birthday. And I said... There's nothing to do, like nothing's open. I can't even go to a coffee shop. Um, and she was like, "Come on, come out and ride my horse. Um, you can ride my horse, and I'll um, and I'll walk." My mum's friend's actually a fourteen too, and I've ridden him before. He's actually fifteen too. Is he? Yeah, he's fifteen. I think he's fifteen. No, fifteen hands. Oh. Um, so I rode him, and then I came home, and I was like, "Oh my god, I really miss it. I really miss riding, and I want to get back into it." Um, and I was like, "And that was the night when my mum." told me we were getting a horse and I think I got a little incy wincy wincy bit overexcited because I jumped up up onto the nearly table broke my neck and screamed 
Yeah, I thought, okay, we're going to get a pony and then we can both share and it's going to be amazing. You don't really share. No, no, we don't share. No, <laughs> no, that went out the window. That, that, that didn't even happen. Went straight out the window, that idea, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, as long as I'm, I, I felt happy not having a horse to ride because I, I get as much enjoyment out of it, like just being around popcorn and watching Harlow progress um, without me even riding. So I'm more than happy. It would be quite fun if you got your own horse though. It would be fun. Mm. We could go out hacking, but that's the only benefit would just be that we could hack together. And I walk anyway, don't I? Mm. And I'd have like two horses to ride. So I can't really justify buying a pony just to be able to go on hacks with Harlow when I could just walk or go on a bike. So yeah, it's just, the, it's just popcorn. How long have you had popcorn? Two months and yeah, a bit. Yeah, two and a half months. Yeah, we got them in March the 2nd, didn't we? What is your dream breed of horse, colour <laughs> and height? Um, that's a really good question, actually. It would definitely not be a stallion or a mare. It would definitely have to be a gelding. Um, uh, I think it would be maybe an Arab. Really? Arab. And it would be a chestnut. A chestnut Arab? Really? Um, how Actually, are you... no, a Palomino Arab. Oh, Palomino, okay. Palomino Arab. How are you so brave? Also, motivational tips on working hard. Hmm. How are you so brave? I actually don't know. Do you feel um, brave? Um, well, because my old instructor, she was like, we're not leaving until you jump this fence. And I think that made me a little bit more like, hmm, I'm going to do this. Yeah. And then You still have lessons with her now as well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. She was the, your instructor at your old at the old yard, and she was amazing. She was mm -hmm. amazing to get Harlow going really, really quickly because your progression was very, very quick. Mm. Like from the day that we got got popcorn to now. six weeks later was a huge transformation. Mm. So and it it was down to her. She did she did amazing, and we still meet up with her. We go out like cross country courses, yeah. show jumping, um, so we still <laughs> see her. Yeah, and she's, she's been brilliant for you, hasn't she? Yeah. What's your biggest tr dream with popcorn? Becoming top dressage rider and popcorn doing the Spanish walk. <laughs> I, would I would love to see him doing the Spanish walk like Lancelot's doing in there. Yeah. And also my other, my other biggest dreams are modelling for... Lemieux and Pony Mag, so that would be amazing because that would just be amazing. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love popcorn? 100. 100? Oh, I love him so much <laughs> as well. He's so sweet. What three goals you would like to achieve with popcorn this year? Um, being in Pony Mag and modelling for Lemieux and making him do the Spanish walk and well, just like being amazing with dressage. Yeah, just progressing with the dressage and doing some dressage tests Yeah, be amazing. I think I might even cry when I see you do a test. Um, I might cry when Pat when popcorn learns to do the Spanish walk. <laughs> Imagine popcorn. We might be waiting a while for that one. Yeah. We might need to get Ellie's help with that one. Yeah. Um, I wonder how she taught Lance. I don't know, darling. I don't I have no clue. See, I've got no experience with this dressage stuff. I, I obviously know You've about done, flat like, work. Of bits and bobs. I've done showing, but not dressage. Um, <laughs> why did you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, we've had this YouTube channel for a really long time, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, but just to put random things up on there. Yeah. And I was when you was five, you posted a video with a pony. It wasn't actually your pony, but no. you did say it was your pony but in the video, but you just thought it was your pony. But you've actually yeah. only rid ridden the pony a few times. But you was like, this is my mm. pony, Teddy. And yes, yeah, so you actually asked me to film that video. You yeah. was like, Mum, can you film me grooming this pony? And it's like, no, not fancy. It's got like no editing done to it. Yeah, so we put this video up and... I just put it up and didn't even take any notice of it. And then about a year later, it's, I looked. 
it has like 3.3 million views. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, like, it, it, it didn't get views straight it away. It actually blown our minds, like, yeah. Poof. So yeah, that video is it's on this channel. So yeah, we've always had this page and I've put like random things up on, on here for you. Yeah. Um, but it was just kind of, I don't know, we both just decided it when we got him. Because you've been watching mm, loads of like different YouTube videos and everything. And I think I like asked mum, can we do a little bit of YouTubing with popcorn? Because like... You just love watching it, don't you? Yeah, I just love watching people like groom their horse down, tack up and just do anything. <clears throat> just being around horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was... Yeah, just something that it's just something naturally that you wanted to do. And for me, like I, of course, like any parent, you want to like film and document their like progression and riding journey, and also just to see like the the the, the transformation in the riding. So yeah, I thought I'm going to make these lovely videos just for for amazing memories and somewhere to put them, like a video diary. What is your favourite colour Lumiere set? That's one of the hardest questions in the world. Um, well, I don't really like have many Lemieux sets, do I? But what? You can't say that. You've got loads. <laughs> do I? <laughs> How many do I have? You do. Well, well, we'll try and think of the colours that you've got. Hmm. You've got Champagne, burgundy. Champagne, burgundy, green. Green. It, that 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 blue, the navy blue, um, the musk, um, aqua. That's definitely six you've got. I don't have that many. That's it was quite a lot. That's 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 enough. Some people have like twenty million. Yeah, but you've you've not had them for two minutes. Yeah. Um, but no, what's your what's your favourite colour out of all of those colours? Or um, if there was a colour that you haven't got that you would love, what is your favourite? I would love popcorn and baby blue. Yeah, they don't do like a proper baby blue, do they? No. That's crazy, isn't it? They need to do a baby blue. A lot of these are the same questions, which is why I'm scrolling through. Um, and for how long have you wanted a horse? Forever. Yeah. A really long time. Because, like, I actually don't know where I'd be right now if I hadn't like if my mum hadn't told me that we were getting a horse because I probably would have still be being just doing nothing at home. Yeah. Because I remember really it bored. I remember it in the first lockdown. I was on my weekends I was just sitting inside watching like people on YouTube and I was like, Mum, I need to do this, I need to ride. Yeah, nothing to do. Um do you ever get scared when you go over a big jump? Definitely, because, well, I don't really get scared, because if there's something I don't want to jump, I won't jump it, because I went to cross country, and I was as stubborn as a mule, and I wouldn't jump this specific jump that was on a hill, and I was like, no, I'm not jumping it, so I walked away with popcorn, and we didn't jump it. I. No, but I don't know why you didn't jump it, because you've jumped bigger than that. There's it was just because the jump was on top of a hill that you had to canter up, jump the jump, and then ride back down the hill. Yeah, I wouldn't jump it. But if that was on the ground, on a flat ground, would you have jumped it? Of course. But what, does it make sense, darling? You would jump it one day, won't you? No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as stubborn as a mule, Mum. You're never going to get me to jump it. Um, as Harlow is still in school, what does your routine look like and how do you balance it all out? We don't really balance it out, do we? No, we just wing it every week, don't yeah. we? We've got no set days. It just depends on what's going with mm -hmm. my work schedule, where I'm at, because I do a lot of mm -hmm. travelling with my work. So, Is there anything you regret about getting popcorn? No. Definitely not? No. What if you could change anything about him? What would you change? Um, nothing. You wouldn't change anything? He's just no. perfect, isn't he? Yeah. He's so sweet. Um, and I like that he's got a little bit of personality when I put the bridle on and he smiles. I know, does it every time. It's very yes. cute. He's um, like, cheeky tongue. If horse riding didn't exist, what do you think you'd be doing? Like, what other sport? 
wowzers. I'd probably be doing netball and hockey. You love hockey, don't you? Yeah. You've tried dancing? I didn't like it. You um, tried gymnastics? Didn't like it. Um, what else have you tried? You wanted to try musical instruments, haven't you? But I didn't let you. No. Because <laughs> I knew you weren't sick at it. Uh, what has pop popcorn done previously? Well, he smiles every day. But no, like what's he done with his like pony oh. club? Oh, um, we did a pony club yesterday. No, no, no. Before we bought him, what did, what had he done with his previous oh. owners? <laughs> Good job um, on him. Yeah, um, dressage mainly. Well, he's done a bit of a, just everything that we're doing mm. is what he's done. He did pony club. Cross country show jumping, dressage. How oh, he even pulls a car. Yeah. We he haven't does. tried that with him, have we? No. He even does that. Um, so yeah, everything. Which is why why I loved him because he's done everything. Um, and we, yeah, just I've seen all the videos, all the video evidence, and I was like, yeah. yeah, he's amazing. Oh, whose ponies are all the other ponies on your old Instagram posts? They're just your friends' ponies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pe yeah, people that we know, like I've got horsey friends from, you know, pe people that I've known mm -hmm. and yeah, we've just, any opportunity you'll just ride, won't you? Yeah. But the thing is riding with friends ponies is you can't have like a free reign of just riding whenever you want or just turning up your, mm -hmm. and it's not all the time either, you might get a ride like, you know, once in a blue moon but nothing that you can like progress or nothing consistent. So as much as it is, it's, it's amazing being able to have that chance yeah. to ride other people's ponies, you can't rely on it as having that as your only pony, especially when someone else rides that pony. Definitely. So because you know that they've got commitments, like you wouldn't be lending popcorn out all the time, would you? No. Because you're I don't doing. I him out as it is. No, because you've got your thing. You're bu you're busy with him. Mm. As, you know, with your own. And plans. I don't want him to like get out of his routine, the dressage, because we're getting quite good at dressage, and I don't want him to like fall out his routine. Yeah. But we will be doing like a lot of fun stuff as well. Like every now and then, we'll do some jumping across country. And hacking, he loves hacking, doesn't he? Mm. Uh, will you keep popcorn forever? Yes. A straight, yes, he is never stepping a foot away from where I know he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the first thing that you said, actually. I think on the first day, it's like, Mum, can we keep him forever? Mm. Have you ever gone to a show before? Loads when I was younger. I've got a massive box of rosettes, yeah. don't I? So Harlow was, I want to say, just turned three or just going to be three. Um, and you did, again, with riding a friend's pony, and yeah, um, they didn't have a lead rein pony, and they didn't have a rider for the pony, so yeah. she was like, just how can Harlow ride this pony? But she was just like bobbing along on I this was pony. I bobbing but, along looking cute, just sitting there. But for lead <laughs> rein, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to be good at riding yeah. at all, it's judged purely on the pony. So, and she was a really, really good lead rein pony, wasn't she? Mm. I'll add some pictures in. But yeah, so it's really, really cute. Um, so she did about, I think you did about seven, mm. about seven lead rein um, yeah. shows on that pony. And that's it, you haven't done any no. ever since. So yeah, you was like nearly three. What's the hardest thing about owning a horse? Um, like if you're doing DIY daily care and be able like to be getting up the yard and doing everything. Um, that would be the hardest thing. If, if, yeah. if popcorn was on DIY, it would be like the early mornings and the late nights. Yeah. And also, um, vet bills. <laughs> like, if your horse just suddenly gets sick and you don't know about it, and then a couple like weeks later, there's a massive sign, but it's like really bad, that can cost quite a lot of money to like... Yeah. We popcorn's in a short though, isn't it? Yeah, so. Are you going to be doing more Instagram lives? Definitely, yes. Yeah? Because, well, I think now the suggestions and the comments will calm down a little bit because I don't think there's going to be much else to ask, is there, after we've done this we've video? We've done this video. Uh, well, well, people might not have seen that, yeah. But we'll definitely do You enjoyed it, didn't you, the Instagram yeah. live? And you liked chatting to some of your followers, didn't you? Yeah, that yeah. was really fun. 
Um, do you like shalike horses? Yes, I have a whole collection of them. I think I've got like some like that are so old they don't even like you can't even buy them are anymore. Are they rare? I think so because I think I've got a one or two that you can't buy anymore from the shops and so Do you love all your fan pages? Yes. And oh my gosh, thank you so much guys for all of the edits that you've been doing. You love the everything. edits, don't you? Yeah. Hi Harlow, we'd love to know your plans for Popcorn and will you be doing any dressage tests on him as he moves so well? Um, Lots of love, Scarlett. My, oh, hello Scarlett, and my plans with Popcorn are, we're definitely going to be coming, like, we're definitely going to be doing a lot of shows and competitions. Yeah, you're going to try out some shows this year, even though and we don't tests, want him to be a show tests pony, you just want to have fun, don't you? Yeah. But we are going to get quite good into the dressage. You're going to, yeah, we're going to start out with some easy, unaffiliated dressage tests. Mm, see how we get see on. See how we get on. You're going to do Pony Club Camp this year. Mm, that's going to be really fun, that Yeah, is. we also want to do our own camp at the yard here, don't we? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that. You're going to invite your friends over for a few days. Yeah. You're also going to stay here, sleep at the yard, aren't you? Yeah. They've got um, accommodation here so we can stay. Yeah. And also... Maybe there's going to be something upstairs that includes with one of, the, one of our videos that we're going to be doing. Yep. So stay tuned for that, guys, because that's going to be really exciting. And then also you want to do some show jumping, like some clear rounds even, because yeah. Harlow's not very good at remembering courses. Definitely not. So that would be quite, quite funny, because at the minute it's quite difficult to get her to even remember... One course. Th three let, jumps. Let alone... <laughs> the order of three, three jumps, so... Let alone, like... 10. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to go awfully horrendous. She's going to need like an earpiece in and I was just shouting her ear saying, green one. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Do a U-turn. Um, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, someone goes, why do you have all this nice stuff but your saddle is so old? No hate though. Um, we're definitely going to be getting the new saddle because... Like, I'm going to try out my instructor's old saddle, like I said. You're going to try that out today, the yes. dressage saddle. But he just got the saddle that he came with. It's a Kent and Masters saddle. Yeah. And then I just wanted to see, because Harlow hadn't done any riding pretty much before we got him. So I didn't even know what she liked. I didn't know if she wanted to do jumping or dressage. So there's no point or cross country. Or buying any saddle for him until we know what you like and what you're good at and mm. what works for both of you. So... Yeah, that's why he's not got a new saddle. Because I think like the main things that I'm going to be doing with popcorn are dressage, show jumping, cross country, and maybe some mounted games. All right. Because he loves his mounted games, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, but I don't think he'll be doing it like at a competitive level. I think it's nice no. to do with your friends, but I yeah. feel like there's a lot faster ponies out there that mm. will beat him. <laughs> Definitely. Because, uh, well... He can go pretty fast, but I don't want to be bolting around the school. No, I don't think mountain games is for you. No. Um, Even so though yeah. he does love it. Once we figured out, I said by the end of the summer, we would have figured out what they really love together, and then we'll get a new saddle then. Yeah. Um, and, like, my mum said, if we're going to, like, be going out quite a lot and doing a lot of competitions, we can maybe get a little horse box. Oh, did I say that? Yeah, you no, did. I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it won't be this year because we won't be doing. We don't need living accommodation. We don't like. We don't need living in a van. So no, because my trainer has this massive horse box. Yeah, I'm looking Oakley at right Supreme. Now, and it has massive living space, doesn't it? Yeah, and like, like a it hotel. Can fit, it can. Fit, it can fit like six horses in it, can't yeah. it? Um, and this one of the questions: Do you get lessons with Ellie McCarthy? I've already answered that, and yes, she's my instructor. I see her pretty much every single day, and yeah. Yeah, she's really good, really good, isn't yeah. she? Um, bay or grey? Ooh. Greys sometimes turn into a poo bold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bay? Um, I like the greys. 
I like bays. My 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 horse was bay. Mm. But I do like greys. You like any colour, don't you, really? Yeah, as long as they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite horse film slash series? Hmm. Probably Spirit Riding Free. Do you like this? Was it The Saddle Club? What's those Australian girls that you watch on Netflix? It's not on Netflix. That's The, that's the Saddle, the that's saddle Club? No. So you do watch the Saddle Club, I don't you? I finished watching the series. Yeah, but did you watch? Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. So they're not asking what you're watching right now. They said, "What's your favorite?" Oh. What's your favorite? Um, Spirit Riding Free because like every day I'm checking to see if they've um, um, turned out a new series because um, they didn't like put a new series out on Netflix for a long time. So that was pretty, pretty sad times for me. So I had to go on YouTube and watch the Saddle Club. The meantime, um, who edits your videos? Mummy. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not a videographer. I've had to kind of just learn all this stuff. Um, wing it. Yeah, just winging it. I am a photographer though, so I've got like I had I didn't have to buy any camera equipment to be able to do this YouTube. I had mm. everything already. Had all the microphones, all the software. So yeah, and I would have been filming you anyway, like doing. Yeah riding and all this kind of stuff so yeah I'd always been documenting it and yeah I just had to kind of adapt and mm. there would always been loads of pictures no doubt about that yeah like you're my you two are my, my favorite thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> right I'm gonna give you ask you one more question then you can scroll through and answer any right what is popcorn's cheekiest habit Definitely smiling when I put the bride on. Okay, right, well you scroll okay, through and ask okay. any. Oh. How many times have I fallen off popcorn? One. Once. Once. Yeah. Once. And it I was... I got it on video. It was a pretty horrendous fall. And very dramatic, because my mum put a lot of dramatic music over it, and you slow mowed it down. <laughs> <laughs> Add to the suspense, but yeah, yeah, you was very upset, weren't you, after that? Well, I think you cried for about a minute, and then mm. she was back on riding again. So, guys, I'm gonna have to end today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed it, and there were a lot of questions. I'm really sorry if I didn't answer any of yours, but a lot of the questions were the same as well. So, and there were so many. As soon as my mum posted um, the questions. The question box, like questions were just coming through non-stop. My mum was getting so many notifications. So yeah, that was very exciting and I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did as well. We definitely had some funny moments. So guys, we've answered a lot of questions and I don't think we're going to answer any more because if we did, this video would be horrendously long and it would take even longer for my mum to edit so guys i hope you like the mum reveal because that was extremely requested so i'll see you guys next time bye